Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I know, I was... Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. Just... Trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Shit, come on, come on, come on, come on, think. How's it guys and welcome back to Days Gone. And this is episode 4 of the walkthrough. I've been playing a bit off, off camera as well. Here, come here. I'll show you what you're looking for. Huh? Yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula and Gustafolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loan, so I will stick with Latin, but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth. Go for it. <laughs> okay, come on. Give me your hand. All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower, All right. and then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. Yeah, I pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. But apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Go. There you go, that's perfect. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> so, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that... That is so... Oh my god, thank you, Einstein, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy who <laughs> farms about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. At least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. Yeah, they should do what we say. So it's just a slow, slow walk through the park, through my memory. Nice. I've been here, like, really enjoying hey, the park. Hey, there's more over here! Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean to stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, it's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. Dude, why do you have to be such a party pooper? So, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden. First explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer. Wow, look at you. Being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers. One fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10, I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? Okay, you try picking some now. 
Lavender. You you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants yeah. and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. At least I can run now. This is the slowest walk. This one? Yep. Keep going. Last one. Great. Bring him here. Oh, <laughs> wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. Well, if it's not, <laughs> then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, oh. aw, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer for myself on the way over. Okay, like I was saying, is I've been enjoying this game so far. It's probably the best zombie game that I've played so far. It's uh, probably this and Daisy, very, very close, but uh, yeah, it's very good. Yeah, I must now find lavender. Boozer is not uh, doing very good. I wonder if it's going to help heal him. I'm not sure. We'll have to go have a look for that. Also, have to go into Copeland's camp. He's got another job for me. Okay, so the lavender will be up there. I think. Let me just continue with this for now. I'll go collect the lavender quickly and then after that I'll go to Copeland's camp if there's still time in this uh, episode. Let's go have a look. Let's go look for some lavender. You see with Sarah and Deacon, opposites do attract. Oh, there's a flower up there. Opposites do attract. She's like Super smart, educated. And Deacon doesn't really look at that educated. Maybe only got high school education or something. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm a little out of it. What, you said something? It's a, uh, it's something Sarah showed me a few summers ago. Before. Yeah. Anyway, uh, there's a plant that grows out here called lavender. Grows in the shade, along rivers, lake shores. I'm gonna see if I can find some. Shit, brother. The way my arm's feeling, I'll try anything, but fuck the lavender, bring something I can smoke. Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna find some of this shit. I'm gonna make a burn sap out of it, and you're gonna shut the hell up about it. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, brother. Just going stir crazy up here, you know? Ah, don't worry, booze man. We're riding north, I swear to God, not too much longer. You hear me? Yeah, out. Ah, fresh meat. Let's go, keep going. There's probably going to be something else up there. It's never so simple as just collect the lavender. Oh shit, a horde. Oh, it's right by the way, I have to collect that stuff. That's not cool. Oh shit, I'm getting out of here. I don't have the weapons to fight this horde yet. 
Well, they're all going back inside. Thank goodness it's daytime. I also would have been in, in trouble here. Well, I have the lavender that I needed. What is this down here? A marauder camp. These are the assholes who've been ambushing the roads around here. Well, I can't really do that now. You know, I got that wood. I think the wood is waking up, damn it. Yeah, they are definitely. Ah, oh, shit! They are definitely waking up. Don't get out of there too fast in a hurry. Turn. Shit. Yo. I can just play from. They're quite close to the camp. The people have to go do some hunting again. Like he's smoking. I can fix this. Let's go. Hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it! Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. We were picking lavender, and uh, she Let's taught see. <laughs> she taught me how to make this sap for Burns. And uh, look, I got out today. Okay? I actually had a look around the mountain. I cleared some traps. The garden's almost as good as new. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey, hey, just give me a couple days, okay? Just 
We'll ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yes, that arm is obviously infected. Okay, now I'm gonna have to go down to Copeland's camp. To see what's happening down there, he's got a job for me. Deke, you there? Yeah, I'm here, what's up? We got hit, and hard, rippers. A couple of dozen, maybe more. Goddamn rippers. That little gal you were so worried about? Yeah, Lisa. Wait, hold on. What happened? Where's Lisa? Gone. They took her and three uh, others. Yes. Alki followed him as far as he could. But they're holed up at Belknap Crater. He came back to round up more men, but... God damn it! Okay, look, I've seen what those sons of bitches do to hostages. I'm not waiting. Cool, I'm waiting now. I'm not going there now. First going there. You've called me first. How's it going, dude? Where's my petrol tank? something you might be interested in. Yeah, don't bet on it, Cope. I'm busy. Too busy to hear about a ripper camp? Here? In the Cascade Wilderness? Rippers up here? <sighs> Where? Thought you might be interested. I heard how you and Boozer got hit by him. In fact, I haven't seen Boozer around much, have I? Where, Cope? Up by Separation Meadow. Flack, you know her, don't you? Saw him firsthand. Past their camp when she was out on a supply run. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll take care of them. That's the one I just took out. And just before I saw this video, I took the rippers out there. Obviously a mistake. Was it there? There's another camp there. Okay, we're not going to go do that one now. I'm going to go and see this one here. Yeah. Ah, I wonder if I've got enough. Yeah, I've got enough credit to see. Damon. Hey. Just fill up my bike. Yeah, it is hard to find fuel out there. 
No, it's not. It's quite easy, actually. Don't be straight. I basically used all my camp credits here at Copeland's Camp to upgrade my bike. Right past the fuel there, damn it. Is there another camp up there? Yeah, there's another camp up there. I already took that camp out, you can see there, but obviously someone is back there again. Let the rubber do that paint with seems to be blood. I can't see any down there. I don't see any movement. I think I'm going to have to go down there for the story to activate. Yep. And it's at night. Sure as hell don't belong to a goddamn river. 
Small footprints. Girl's size. It's got to be Lisa. She was dragged through here. If you hurt her, you sons of bitches, I'm going to kill every last one of you. Now I'm basically forced. I have to go up this way. I don't have a choice. Yeah, am I supposed to go up here? Yeah? No. Okay, so down the scary alley we go. Come forward or turn around, dude. What the hell? A woman, whatever the hell you are. What's that? Mm, nice. Uh, now down into the cave. In here. They dragged her in here. This cave is quite deep. Free rule of the world, huh? Not if they're all dead. She's not in here. Where are you, Lisa? She's got to be out here somewhere. Oh shit! I didn't even feel like that. 
Oh shit. Fucking grenade. She's gotta be out here somewhere. So many. Too many to count. To join them. To be one of them. Now I am content. I wait. Doug, dude, <laughs> shut up. You're making a noise. Really? No one is joining you. We can do that. Now you're found. Yeah? Shut up. Place is a goddamn maze. I think I actually kicked on any quite a bit while they're still on fire. You won't remember me shit too well. Okay. Come on. I'll just take these. It doesn't look as if they... Alert the whole camp when someone is uh, around. Up here, they dragged her up here. How big is this place? Shit. What do we got? A smoke bomb. Oh, huh. cool. Place has got to be up there. Ah. I'm coming, kid. 
every time I want to take out my sniper rifle, then they run away. It's not cool, dudes. Can they see me that they are shooting at me? actually quite a good base that they have because they funnel everyone to a certain point you have to go through these tunnel thingies I'd be on the rock, but you leave your head sticking out. That normally means someone's running at you. And there's a sniper up there. What the hell? Shit, how many bullets are these guys taking? Okay. Shit, this might be easy. How can they see me if I can see them out oh, up there somewhere? That's all I need to do, the corner of your brain box and I'll take it off for you. Does it say RIP for rest in peace or does it say RIP for rippers? Pretty quiet, are they all dead now or? Ah, there she is. Lisa. Alright, Lisa. Oh Jesus, what have we done here? Right. Lisa. You can let cut up. Lisa? Hey. Sweetheart. No! Hey, hey, no! hey! Shut up! Shut up! Lisa, it's me. It's Deacon. Remember? Deacon? It's all right. It's all right. Come on. You okay? Oh, damn it, can you run? Do you know where the visitor center is? All right, that's where my bike is. I need you to run there as fast as you can. Don't stop. Don't stop. All right, don't stop. No matter what. You ready? Huh? 
Go. That's not running, dude. What the hell? I can't go back to get ammo. Run, Lisa, run. Oh, it's over here. Lisa, get out the way! Follow the unnamed. Who the hell is the unnamed? To the south of here, there's a camp at Lost Lake. It's nothing like the Hot Springs. Iron Mike, he's not like Mrs. Tucker. I hated Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> no, you wouldn't be alone there. This is a nice camp, and it's a safe place. There is a new okay. camp having discovered it. Hold on. No, get going there quickly. We've still got a couple of minutes. How far is it? Just next to Cooper's camp. Okay. Okay. Well, let's keep Ricky. Going there. Ricky, come back. Ricky, are you still on this channel? 
Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon? Ugh, long time no here. What do you want? Just meet me, okay? On the Cascade Highway where it intersects with the old Belknap Road. I'm heading there now. You know what I might say? I think I'm going to go out of here. Uh, oh, yeah. That. Uh, listen, that's why I radioed you and not Schizo. Iron Mike doesn't even have to know about this. I've got a kid here. What? Well, I mean, not a kid. Uh, a survivor. She's been out here a long time. A, a, you've got a survivor, and you're bringing her to Lost Lake. No, you're bringing her to Lost Lake. I'm bringing her to you. Ricky, you there? Yeah, okay. I'm on my way. Lost Lake out. Ricky? Uh, yeah, okay. You're welcome. You're gonna like it there, kid. So like I said, Iron Mike, he's, um, uh, he likes to yell a lot. Look, don't let him bother you. You got that? Uh, anyway, there's this guy named Schizo. He bothers you at all. Well, just tell Ricky. Or, uh, tell Addie. She's the camp's doctor. You tell her. And Dude, Addie, she's talking? good. She's got Just medicine, you know, to clean up those, uh, to clean up those cuts. I mean, you don't want to get infected. I They're gonna help you out, kid. You can count on them, even if you, uh, you know, even if you screw up. All right. Here we go. I can't even, uh, there's a passenger on and I can't refill the bike. It's not showing petrol now, so obviously it's not using petrol. Uh, I don't know why didn't you take it to Copeland's camp. So it's cool again to live to know a new camp, so I need to get better guns so I can take on some walls. At the moment I'm not able to do any of that. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deke. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh, Lisa, this is, uh, Ricky. She's gonna, uh, take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not gonna pay you for this. Pay me for, oh, come on. That's not, excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. You just, mm -hmm. you just take her. Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with her? She was, had a run in with some rippers. I had to... Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? I love fishing. It's it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Mine too. Would you want to go fishing with me? I love fishing. Yeah? Come on, I'm going to tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my god. The fish in the morning, fishing they jump IRL. this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're gonna have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, okay? Ready? I really appreciate it. <laughs> There's no love lost there, obviously. Therefore, the storyline is quite good. What's up there now? No one saw it coming. I wonder what's going to happen there now. It's up at camp. Uh, what's that there? Okay, that's the Ripper camp that Copeland wants me to visit.
seen how it lost like but uh, this it's not on the it's not on the map yet. Let's visit here in Memorial Stone again. It's another research. There's this big this is not actually big, where is it now? It looks like I've explored most of the map, it's just this area here. Here's a lake here, I wonder if that's not the lake that they are talking about. Maybe the camp is up here somewhere. In any case guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching this episode again with, and spending some time with me. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm probably going to go back to Copeland's camp now and refuel and I think I've got ammo but I'll refuel and everything and uh, yeah I'm really enjoying this, the storyline is very good and uh, and the side, sideline story is also good so I can't wait to get into more of it um, yeah thanks a lot guys for watching and um, if you are new to the channel please like please subscribe it will help me out a lot and I will appreciate that as well thanks a lot guys and I'll see you next time bye for now